Greetings. In this screen recording, I'm going to talk about how you can allow standard users to access uh, and add and manage printers on their macOS computers using your Jamf software server. So this is a good idea if you want users to have this access. Uh, this Jamf software server is for a school environment, so a lot of teachers have computers. They want to add their printers at home. It's not a huge security risk, so we're going to allow that. There's two ways to do this. You can use a configuration profile, which is what we're going to start with, and then you can use a bash script. We're going to actually deploy both, so you can see both options, and uh, choose which one works best for you. So first things first, we log into our Jamf Pro server, go to Computers, Configuration Profiles, give this guy a name. When naming configuration profiles, I try and write a name that describes exactly what the configuration profile does. And then give it a description as such. So that's what we're doing here. Once that's done, we will pick a category. In this case, the category will be printers. Then we can scroll down in the middle column until we see printers. Configure printing. All right. So our first option is to allow users to modify the printer list. So I'm checking my notes here, and we want to allow uh, printers that connect directly to the user's computer, so we want that. So we're going to go ahead and click that box. And we're going to leave default printer at none. And we're not going to click the box that says require administrator password. Just reviewing our settings here before we go to the scope. And now we're going to scope this out. Now I'm a big fan of computer groups that are dynamic. And so we're going to scope this to all our computers that have an M1 chip, which is a lot of our fleet that uh, and our uh, for teacher computers. Changing gears a little bit, we got our text editor up here, and we can see two Bash scripts. Uh, the first one is just for uh, giving authorization to the print operator, and then the second one has options for unlocking the network preference pane, uh, the energy saver, print and scan preference page, the pane, and date and time preference pane. So maybe you want to, I'll, I'll leave this in the comments. Uh, are in the uh, description for the video both these scripts so you can choose which one works best for you as well as the notes for the configuration profile. Um, I'm, I would recommend starting with the, the first script and doing a lot of this other stuff with configuration profiles more granularly. So you just got to ask yourself uh, and your uh, team members what's best for the computers and the organization you're working for. Okay, with that, let's get this script added to the Jam software server. So we will go ahead and copy script number one, go over to the settings, gear icon, top right hand corner. Uh, I went pretty fast there, so let's um, just pause and watch it again slowly. So we copy the script to the clipboard. We're logged into Jamf. Click on gear icon, top left-hand corner. Go to computer management, center column, scripts, top row, second one to the right, plus button on the right. And here we can give a name to our new script. But first we're gonna click script and paste in the script off the clipboard. And it set is bash. So that's the slower uh, workflow for this. Now back in our uh, general tab, we're going to give a name that describes exactly what this script does. 
and put it in a category so it's nice and organized. Do a little spell check there. Pardon the dyslexia. All right, so we can save this out. And now we can go to Computers, Policies, New, and uh, give this a name. It describes exactly what it does. Once that's done, we will set it in a category, choose how it's going to be triggered. In this case, we want this to go at a reoccurring check-in interval and an enrollment complete interval. That way, when new computers get enrolled to the JAMP software server, they get this script, and for existing computers, they get it at their re reoccurring check-in interval. Next, we click on Configure Scripts, scroll down, find our script, click Add. Now we can scope this out. First, we'll check our parameters. We're not going to add anything special in there. Computer groups, this is going to be a dynamic group, same as before, M1, and now we can save it out. That's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this video. It's the only one you ever watch on my channel. We'll see you around.